this is dangerous. Yeah. <laughs> I'm taking lots of risks. Taking yeah. risks. Dewanda's been saying she needs some need kids to teach her a thing or two about dinosaurs. Right. Creation is an act of sheer will. Life will find a way. I'm Phil. I'm Reef. And we're here on behalf of Newsrun to interview the stars of Jurassic World Dominion, Dewanda Wise and Bryce Dallas Howard. And also the director, Colin Trevorrow. That's great. That's okay, great. we did it. My favourite dinosaur is the Argentinosaurus. Ooh. What's your favourite dinosaur? I love the Dreadnoughtus. The Dreadnoughtus is a, a new dinosaur that was found, I should find out the year that it was, but I think it was just a handful of years ago. And it's the largest herbivore to have ever existed. So it's the size of eight T-Rexes. Were you ever worried dinosaurs with feathers might be less scary? Yes, uh, because remember in the first movie, uh, the kid uh, says it would look like a six foot turkey, which doesn't seem scary at all. That doesn't look very scary. More like a six foot turkey. And so what we did is we, we had paleontologists and scientists who were able to show us why they actually were very scary. Uh, and hopefully they are when you see the movie. It has to do with you know the length of their claws and the length of their teeth. And we try to make them as scary as possible. What's it like having to pretend to be scared of puppets or dinosaurs that aren't really there? Okay, so here's the thing. The puppets are animatronics. And they're not just any ordinary puppet, although they are puppets. You know, they're kind of puppet robots. Yeah. They are like the Giganotosaurus. Did I say that right? Giganotosaurus? Giganotosaurus. Yeah, yes. Yeah. It, that was an animatronic in our movie. And it was giant mm -hmm. and it looked real. Mm -hmm. There's a moment when you walk into this underground dinosaur market and we have, I think, like 15 different animatronics working at once. So everywhere you look, there's another animatronic dinosaur. Uh, that part uh, was, was pretty awesome. And these dinosaurs that we get to interact with in the movie, they feel so real. So it's basically like Jurassic World Dominion, no acting required. Yeah. It's incredible. You don't have to act scared because you are scared. <laughs> what is your favorite dinosaur fact that you've learned from these films? Hmm. That's a good question. Um, well, you know, the, the thing that I found really unique in this movie was the Therizinosaurus, right? Uh, which has claws that are about this long, uh, that could kill pretty much anything, but it was an herbivore. And so we were trying to figure out a way, you know, to make sure it looked scary and was scary, but also the only way it's going to be a threat to a human is if that human, uh, you know, invades its habitat or gets in the way of its food. It was just Bryce Dallas Howard, you know, Claire Deering, finally all alone with a dinosaur, which was something that we actually had never done before. This one's for you, Bryce. In the film, there's a part where you hold your breath for ages. How long can you hold your breath in real life? You know what, I haven't actually... I, I haven't actually timed it, um, so I can't say. But it's some time. It's nothing exceptional, but it got better <laughs> than what it was. Guess that dinosaur. What am I, right? T-Rex. Ah. Velociraptor. Velociraptor. Oh. Velociraptor. Velociraptor. Yeah. Very close, though. Yeah, cool. Very That's close. guess. Okay, your turn. Okay. T-Rex. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Undeniable. Undeniable. <laughs> like, truly undeniable. I go again. Okay, okay. Um, all right. Mosasaurus. What? <laughs> We're just putting what? each other. Yep, yep, yep. Mosasaurus. Do you ever wish you could swap with the actors and be in front of the camera? No. God, no. You guys don't mind. No? Yeah, you yeah. guys look great on camera. I'm, I do it because I have to. How do you make sure each Jurassic World film is different from the last? Oh, well, you know, we've really tried to uh, fundamentally change in a lot of ways what a Jurassic movie is. Uh, each Jurassic film up until now has been a group of people who go to an island uh, that may or may not be safe, and it turns out not to be safe. Uh, this movie was all over the world. It was a, a narrative that was uh, taking us to, uh, you know, a conclusion that hopefully we don't expect where you see two different stories that are moving closer and closer together until they collide. Pterodactyl? Okay, okay. Dilophosaurus? No, no. Alright, let me just start over. Okay. I can't even do this You're on like, camera. You're like, new tactic. I have to get new tactic. Okay, ready? <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> oh, Brachiosaurus. No. Ankylosaurus. No. What is it? Triceratops. Oh, what yeah, sure. Name? I, I mean, sure. Does like, anyone know what noise? I mean, no. <laughs> <laughs> but now I want to see your Triceratops. How do you do it? How do you like this? Oh, oh, oh that's clever. Horns. You're right. We should have gone like oh, this. Oh, see, right. this is what I'm saying. I need my lesson. Yeah, yeah. Dewanda's been saying she needs some need kids to teach her a thing or two about dinosaurs. Right. Okay, so what's next for me? Okay. So imagine. I'm lying sideways. Imagine I'm injured, incredibly handsome and brilliant, and I really need to be saved. John, almost. John Endelblum. Jeff Goldblum. You made a promise to a dinosaur. Yeah. Why? And my next interpretation of this dinosaur. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Ready? Brachiosaurus. Thank you. That well was such done. a helpful hit. Well done. Well such done. a good future director. Did you all know that we both went to drama school for many years? <laughs> and your ability to inhabit a dinosaur instantly you you is quite strong. You're hired. Yeah. This is, I don't know. This is. Ooh. It's the. It, okay, Ooh. okay, okay, okay. Okay. Uh, he. Giganotosaurus. Yes! Giganotosaurus. Giganotosaurus. I can never say Giganotosaurus. that. I know. I have a really hard time saying it as well. I've got a gift for you. Oh, yeah? You can keep it if you can guess what it is. Okay. If I can't guess, you're going to take it back? Yeah. I'll, right. take it. I'll take it off for you. Yeah. Can I put it in my hand? Yeah. You've got three guesses. I think it's chocolate with marshmallow. <laughs> I can't decide what would be a better job. A paleontologist or an actor, what do you think and why? Ooh, good question. Well, they have a lot in common. You know, both get to travel and explore new worlds. Uh, there's a lot of discovery. There's a lot of research and learning that's required. I would probably say, because I'm already an actor, that it would be really cool to be a paleontologist for a while. That's my first guess. Second one is that it's a tooth, I, like a back molar. What was the most dangerous stunt you were allowed to do yourselves? What was the most dangerous stunt? I mean, you had some serious, you were like running on ice. Yeah, running on ice. <laughs> because it, what's wild is it wasn't ice, but it was as slippery as ice. Yes, you it know. Is. So probably running on ice. And uh, let's see, my third one? Maybe the top of a, of, a, of a fossil, the top of a tiny little skeleton head fossil without the bottom jaw. What do you think? Well, unfortunately... None of those. No, none of those. Do you want me to tell you what it is? Yes, I do. It's dino poo. Dude, <laughs> well, you, then you can have it back. <laughs> it's fossilized dino poo. Yeah. Nothing for me in this movie felt as dangerous as the stunts that I did in Jurassic World, the original Jurassic World. The trickiest one was when it was the scene where it was like open paddock nine and I'm running from the T-Rex. We practiced it many times and I was like, okay, all right, I can do this, I can do this, I can do this. And then they're like, all right, let's wet down the concrete because it makes it look really nice. It, like you see yeah. the reflections from the moon and all of that and from the lights, but it makes it incredibly slick. And then on top of that, they were like, they had me do something that is actually not even allowed to do in movies anymore, which is to hold your own flair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. they were like, and now we'll hold this real flair. And I'm like really burning cool, and all that kind of stuff. And I just remember thinking like, running on a slick ground with heels and, and fire. fire. I don't know. You're like doing it like, this is dangerous. Yeah. <laughs> I'm taking lots of risks. Lots of yeah. risks. Pretty much. <laughs> you both play really strong women. Why is this important in an action movie? Will you tell us why it's important in an action yeah, movie? Yeah, I mean, I think. I'm like, I want to hear from you. What makes us happy is that you have different versions and meanings of what it means to be a strong woman. So, you know, Dr. Ellie Sattler's strengths are different from Maisie's strengths and they're different from Kayla's strengths and they're different from Claire Deering's strengths. So mm -hmm. that's what makes me the most proud. It's that we all have access to different forms of what it means to be strong and a woman in this movie. Another thing is that a lot of times in the past, it used to be the, the custom 
for in an action movie the female character to say, where do we go? What do we do? What happens now? To the male character. And it was to set them up for the answer. Mm -hmm. And in this movie, uh, and in, in a lot of the Jurassic movies, Chris Pratt, who plays Owen Grady, was very aware of this, and he didn't like it. He didn't like it when my character was saying, not knowing what to do. So he would oftentimes try to reverse it for us. He'd be like, what, do, what now? What next? You yeah. know, and I'd be like, we go this way. Mm -hmm. And just that little change, I think, shows an example of how we are capable of solving problems together and you don't need to rely upon one gender or another. That's another plane, right? Not exactly. A message in the movie is about making up for mistakes. Why do you think that this message is important? Well, I think that we're all uh, dealing with the repercussions of choices that uh, our parents and our grandparents, other generations have made before us. And, and we're, we're in a world that is, is dangerous and a little scary sometimes uh, because uh, we're dealing with the consequences of those choices. So it was honestly what we were feeling when we made the movie and we wanted to end on an idea of hope that if we all work together, uh, we can move forward into the future and not go extinct like the dinosaurs did. This is for you, DeWonder. Okay. One of your lines in the movie is, it isn't enough to do nothing. Why is this message important? Oh my goodness, why do I Wonderful. get that out? Why are you trying to make me cry? <laughs> <laughs> That's a great question. That's a great question. Yeah. Uh, because not making a choice is still a choice. Mm -hmm. Especially if you have the ability to do something, if you have a skill or talent or uh, something that can be of service to someone else, then you should do what you can. Now I see why your surname's Wise. Oh yes, it's true. It's true. <laughs> it is true. Thank you so much. Thank you very much for your Thank time. You. You're both wonderful. You. Thank so good. you. Thank you so much. Oh, so it's fantastic. I mean, cool. you can keep the poo if you want. No, no, it's your. You're, that's. I mean, I, I, I will, but you should keep it. I think it's. Thank you. It's for you. <laughs>